Hello everyone, this time, we're pushing the wave system further. We're starting from this node setup used in a previous short. It controls the vertical animation using distance and time. This time, we plug it into a simple grid and connect it to a set position node. Then we plug the animation branch into the Z input of combine XYZ, and use that as the offset, so the grid moves up and down smoothly. Now let's place our floating object. We create a mesh line with one point, put it in a set position, and reuse the same animation branch for the Z movement. Then we instance a cube on that point, and use realize instances to make it solid. Finally, we pass the pulse value to the material using store name to trib it and a set material. We just need to combine that with a join geometry. Use the mesh line node to control the position of the object. In the shader editor, we use an attribute node and a color ramp to make the cube react to the animation. And just like that, another cool effect done in geometry nodes.